ultimate goal is to to sound unique on an instrument that millions of people play. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 female guitarists of all time. For this list, we're ranking the most influential and talented lady shredders to saddle up a six-string. We won't be including bassists like Susie Quattro, however. Did we miss out on any of your favorites? Let us know in the comments. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 20. Jan Kienemand. The world of 1980s hair metal was one largely dominated by men, but a number of bands managed to buck this trend. Chief among them was Vixen, and this was thanks in part to the guitar skills of founder Jan Kienemand. Although Vixen's pop metal success was definitely the sum of its creative parts, Kienemann's smooth playing always stood out, even alongside her talented bandmates. Jan's act skills are showcased on both the band's gold-selling debut, as well as their impressive follow-up, Rev It Up. Although Jan tragically passed away from cancer in 2013, her work as a trailblazing artist remained secure, with hits like Cryin', How Much Love, and Vixen's definitive hit, Edge of a Broken Heart. Number 19. Allison Robertson the sound of classic rock and early punk runs deep in the killer riffing of Alison Robertson. A founding member of California 90s rock group The Donnas, Robertson helped anchor the band's career with an approach that was both feral and melodic. Robertson was at home kicking out riffs inspired by bands like Kiss and the Ramones, but could also compose memorable lead licks. There was never anything particularly fancy or complex about Allison's playing, but this meat and potatoes approach is often just what the doctor ordered when it comes to rock and roll. And this was exactly what the Donnas did best. Number 18, The Great Cat. Simplicity, subtlety, forget about it. The Great Cat knows nothing of these things, nor does she care. All this Juilliard graduate and trained violinist demands is that you worship her or die. The musician born Catherine Thomas seems wholly committed to her character as a hyper aggressive metal maniac. Her influences, however, are the great composers like Beethoven. Personal eccentricities and histrionics aside, the great cat's actual chops are no joke, with many comparing her over-the-top neoclassical style to that of Sweden's Yngwie Malmsteen. She's also been going strong since the late 80s, with a devoted cult of followers choosing to worship at the feet of the great cat. We certainly are not gonna mess with her. Number 17, Gabriela Quintero. The idea of acoustic guitars and heavy metal don't necessarily go hand in hand. But Rodrigo and Gabriela are not your average musicians. Gabriela Quintero utilizes her incredible finger picking and strum techniques to create a style that's utterly original and unique. work with Rodrigo Sanchez is percussive and technical, taking influences from Nuevo Flamenco music and fusing it with their love of thrash metal like Metallica and Megadeth. The 
results are vibrant, intoxicating, and utterly alive, far from any sort of bedtime acoustic lullaby. Quintero even manages to make the body of her guitar sing alongside the strings, creating magic wherever and whenever she plays. Number 16. Poison Ivy Rorschach The world of psychobilly music has a number of outstanding guitarists. Right or size, anyone? But few can hold a candle to Poison Ivy Rorschach. As a co-founder and guitarist of The Cramps, Poison Ivy took no guff from the testosterone-fueled punk rock scene and blazed a trail with her ferocious licks and magnetic stage presence. Her style was an amalgamation of gritty blues, surf music, and snotty garage rock, attacking the guitar with an aggressive punk fury that helped pave the way for the psychobilly genre. Although her husband and bandmate Lux Interior is no longer with us, their work with the Cramps created enough noise to make the band a cult phenomenon that lives on to this day. Number 15. Ani DeFranco Some singer-songwriters are known for their passionate vocals and insightful lyrics, while others are more famous for their musicianship. And boys get locked up in some prison, girls get locked up in some house. Because Ani DeFranco has garnered so much attention for the former, her impressive guitar skills often go overlooked, making her technique something of a secret weapon for the varied alt-folk pioneer. The image of DeFranco's taped-up fingers, frantic strumming, and rhythmic approach, however, is something that many fans have appreciated after watching the singer live, as well as on albums like Dilate and Not a Pretty Girl. DeFranco has also consistently evolved throughout her career. She's incorporated a diverse array of influences into her sound, ensuring that her playing sounds funky, evocative, and fresh. Number 14. Dolly Parton Country icon Dolly Parton wears a lot of hats and has many skills on her resume. In my Tennessee mountain home. Songwriting, however, has to be chief among them. Dolly just seems to get so much out of every chord on her acoustic guitar. I was rich as I could be in my coat of many colors Mama made for me. It's really a combination of incredible lyrics, a restrained technique, and the knowledge of how to get the most out of your arrangements that makes Dolly so influential. Play a song for me, Jolene is a perfect storm of sorts that encapsulates all of these things and more with a melancholic main riff, universal lyrics, and Dolly's pitch-perfect vocals. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Parton is never going to wow you with fretboard gymnastics, but that isn't really the point. She wants to tell you a story, and her guitar is a central character. Number 13. Lizzie Hale Sports fans, you've probably heard the phrase, defense wins championships. In the music world, that defense is a good rhythm guitarist, and Hailstorm's Lizzie Hale is one of the best going today. Rhythm playing often serves as the anchor of a good hard rock or metal band, kicking out the riffs and keeping things grounded during any solo breaks. Baby, love me a more than that, however, Lizzie's ability to maintain her game while fronting the band and delivering what's been called air raid siren vocals always blows us away. Hailstorm's sound is deeply indebted to the pioneering rock and metal acts that came before them, but Lizzie Hale is tough to put in a box. This guitarist is one of a kind. I can't get it. I can't get it. Number 12. Annie Clark, also known as St. Vincent We're discussing a more modern artist with our next entry, Annie Clark, otherwise known as St. Vincent. <music> Clark
Clark's origins with the polyphonic spree were already progressive and unique enough, but her more recent work embraces an art rock aesthetic similar to someone like Kate Bush. As St. Vincent, Clark refuses to be pigeonholed, and that definitely works in her favor. This remarkable artist is always exploring different tunings and approaches to her instrument. The digital production on much of St. Vincent's work risks dampening the punch of a lesser guitarist, but Clark's ability to riff and compose chords with the best of them makes her one of the most unique guitarists working today. Number 11. Jennifer Batten The life of a session musician can be challenging. It's a freelance journeyman life, meaning that your workload can fluctuate according to supply and demand. In Jennifer Batten's case, however, she was working with the absolute best. As a member of Michael Jackson's touring band in the late 80s and mid-90s, Batten absolutely killed it every night playing lead guitar on classic tracks like Beat It. Batten also collaborated with blues rock legend Jeff Beck, not to mention enjoying a solo career that encapsulated everything from hard rock to world beat. Was she flashy with that crazy tapping technique? Sometimes. But Jennifer Batten isn't a one-trick pony. She has always impressed with her skill, precision, and dedication. Number 10. Charo Charo is known for a number of things, from her dancing and stage shows to her catchphrase of coochie coochie. Above all else, however, Charo is a formidable guitarist in the traditional flamenco style, performing dizzying and dazzling feats of musicianship, seemingly without batting an eye. Perhaps it's her bubbly personality or knack for physical comedy that disarms people, or her ubiquitous presence on television between the 1960s and 80s. Either way, when Charo picks up a guitar, jaws are sure to drop. Thanks to her incredible finger-picking technique, she's performed both in the pop format with her disco records, as well as in the world music market. Number 9. Mother Maybelle Carter Maybelle Carter, affectionately known as Mother, was an original member of the Carter family and a guitar-playing pioneer. Her unorthodox performance technique, dubbed the Carter Scratch, saw Maybelle using multiple fingers on her strumming hand to play rhythm and melody lines on guitars, auto harps, you name it. This technique, along with the Carter family's memorable and popular style of traditional country, managed to make the genre even more well-known throughout the United States and beyond. There's no hiding place down here. Oh, and she also had a very famous daughter of whom you might have heard, June Carter, who would gain fame of her own alongside her husband, Johnny Cash. <laughs> Number 8. Khaki King Sometimes the old guard needs to step aside and let some fresh new talent take the wheel. Khaki King turned heads and garnered attention in the early 2000s with her style of rhythmic, jazz-influenced playing and high-profile collaborations with the likes of Tegan and Sarah. A lot of what makes King intriguing as a player comes down to both technique and gear. Khaki uses light strings on custom-made guitars to make her percussive approach sound like a mixture of funky bass slaps, complex tapping, and droning melodies. The ultimate goal is to, to sound unique on an instrument that millions of people play. It's a style that works both in the album format as well as on soundtracks. King notably contributed music to the 2007 film Into the Wild. Number 7. Orianthe 
Marianthi is a touring guitarist who has worked with some of the biggest and best in the industry. Michael Jackson picked out Orianthi to perform on the This Is It concerts that unfortunately never took place. There is footage of the Shredder rehearsing for the shows with Jackson, however. And Orianthi performed at MJ's memorial in 2009. She also collaborated with Bon Jovi's Richie Sambora and joined the Alice Cooper Band in 2011 for a couple of tours. Both of these gigs raised Orianthi's stock considerably and put more eyes on her solo work, which encapsulates everything from pop rock to hard rock and heavy metal. Number 6. Nita Strauss Speaking of Alice Cooper, the next guitarist on our list has actually been the Coop's guitar prodigy since Orianthi's 2014 departure, the fiery and fearsome Nita Strauss. <laughs> Strauss's influences are all about the flash and attitude of the Sunset Strip, a nothing-exceeds-like-excess sort of attitude that screams 80s hair metal. With Nita along for the ride, the Alice Cooper Band has actually busted out gems like Bed of Nails for the first time in years, leaning into Alice's fondly remembered glam period. Elsewhere, Strauss has also broken free with a solo career of her own, making the most of her hyper-aggressive chops and endless amount of charisma. She even found time to collaborate with the WWE, performing at a number of their pay-per-view events. Number 5. Sister Rosetta Tharp The world of gospel music may not seem like a place to find formative guitar playing, but look again, specifically for Sister Rosetta Tharp. Well, 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 I really do believe, I really do believe joy somewhere. Tharp's work in the 30s and 40s blurred the lines between religious music and pop, thanks to her soulful delivery and impressive guitar chops. Many have actually pointed to Tharp as a pioneer for the rock and roll artists that would emerge in the 1950s, such as Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Little Richard. Plus, Tharp's music was bluesy and electrified during a time when gospel just didn't tend to stray beyond the established acoustic rules. She may not be a household name in the pop culture world, but blues, soul, and rock guitarists all owe Sister Rosetta Tharp a debt of gratitude. Number 4. Bonnie Raitt Some musicians just seem to be able to do it all and do it well. Make me an angel that flies from Montgomery. Case in point, Bonnie Raitt who has enjoyed a career that's defied categorization, thanks to her chameleon-like ability to cross over from blues and country to rock and pop. Great is a great, soulful singer and an expressive player, taking traditional rhythm and blues and making her guitar sing right alongside the best of her generation. Great's music has also appeared in films, such as the haunting Stand Up to the Night in Farrah Fawcett's 1986 film Extremities. Throughout it all, this refusal to compromise has made Bonnie Raitt one of the most reliable voices for creative guitar playing across the board. Number 3. Mary Ford Oh, you want to relax and do a song? I'd love to. Les Paul is an undisputed legend of the guitar world, but you can't discuss his work without also mentioning his wife and partner in crime, Mary Ford. Ford was a country and western player through and through, but she also incorporated traditional folk into her work, always with her own personal touch. Paul and Mary Ford racked up dozens of hits during their career together, while Ford would do some studio work into the 60s, which is also the decade when the couple divorced. 
Sure, Ford may be remembered for her gorgeous voice and harmonies, but her innovation on the guitar deserves equal recognition in music history. The world is for the Number 2. Nancy Wilson Nancy Wilson rocks, plain and simple. be easy to mislabel Heart as just another classic rock band were it not for the incredible talents of Nancy and her sister Anne on vocals. The Wilson sisters were power and passion personified, from Anne's all-star singing to Nancy's expressive and varied guitar playing. Sure, Heart has plenty of rocking riffs. <laughs> Barracuda, anyone? But Nancy's influences from classical music and international rhythms make her that much more dangerous a player. Never, never. It doesn't matter whether it's the clean intro to Crazy on You or the polished pop brilliance of If Looks Could Kill, Nancy Wilson is always on fire. Can you never lie? Before we name our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Joni Mitchell, jazz, folk, and pop. Joni could do it all. You don't know what you've got till it's gone. They paved paradise, put up a parking lot. Carrie Brownstein, indie icon with major influence. My whole life was like a picture of a sunny day. Cheryl Crow, an old soul for the grunge age. If only love comes round again. Melissa Etheridge, singer, songwriter, wicked guitar player. Gonna start an uprising, oh Janice Ian, folk with passion and heart. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Lita Ford The Runaways were superstars, and the formative hard-rocking girl group gave us two very special guitarists. One of them was Joan Jett, while the other is our number one pick, Lita Ford. Hello, Mom. Lita was able to transcend her fame with the Runaways while breaking away to start a career that was even heavier and more brash. Lita is about that 80s hard rock sound. From her gritty early work on the Out for Blood album to her breakthrough self titled album from 1988. Come on, pretty, baby. Kiss, me Kiss Me Deadly is a defining showcase of Lita's style and swagger, while her duet with Ozzy Osbourne, Close My Eyes Forever, was a massive hit ballad. Overall, though, Lita likes it hard and fast with plenty of flash. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.